Yo everybody, it's Master Games 22 here, and we're about to play Final Fantasy 9. Yes, 9. This game actually has um oh shoot, I don't want to have audio on. But um yeah, this game has like a a missing piece or should I say place in the history of Final Fantasy games that I've played. I can say without a doubt I've played almost every Final Fantasy game except for Final Fantasy 2, 1, and so on. Well, wait. No. I, I, I'd say it's Final Fantasy 1 and 2 really. And um, Final Fantasy 11. But um, uh, that's for a whole nother reason. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to play this game again for years now. I played a little bit of it uh, a while back. There was a demo disc for this game at some point. And then I also rented it at one point at Blockbuster. But I only made it to a certain part of the game um, where it is like an evil mist. <laughs> and it actually had like one of the coolest songs I've heard for a while in a um, Final Fantasy game during that time, besides what I heard in 7 and 8. Um, but, yeah. I'm hyped to play this. I, I don't remember anything other than the main character, and I think the love interest, and that's about it, and the evil miss stuff, so. Instead of us continuously going to these white screen, um, standby, um, viewing things so we're just gonna start i don't really think i need to hit this the u.s yeah i i, I need it in english and so do you guys to know what the heck is happening all right let's jump into it you know i thought about it for a while but i probably should consider getting a couple of headphones that let me plug in this uh I think no bullet this my no butcher. I know I probably said it. I know him very well. I funny enough I didn't really get to truly appreciate his skill until he played made a game called Blue Dragon. Um he made the music for that game. Now, I'm assuming there's no voice acting in this. I, I don't remember there being voice acting in any of the Final Fantasy games, except for 10 and Armory. Yeah. I'm looking forward to playing this. It's been a while since I played like a more old school style RPG compared to the more current ones. And I'd like to see where my skill lies in terms of that, if I can handle it. I'm pretty sure I can. There's gonna have to be a lot of grinding, like with most of these old RPGs. And I don't mind doing that. I'll most likely try and cut those portions out so you guys don't have to like sit around and watch me level up continuously. Well, that's how I feel I'm producing some nice commentary that you guys might want to hear, then I'll probably leave it in. But otherwise, I'll try, try to grind outside of the Let's Plays, or maybe I'll just like cut forward so y'all don't have to see it, all of that crap. So, yeah. We just saw our main character, Zidane. Sure is dark. Yep, there's no voice acting. Guess nobody's here yet. All right, pretty simple. A to talk, B is to dash, X is to use a menu, up is up, uh, yeah. Fix cameras, cards, Moogle. I do not remember what that is, card Moogle. Uh, cam rotation, fix camera, perspective, escape battle, L and R. Auto battle Z 
ZR. I gotta remember that it's the top triggers for the escape battle. Alright, matter of fact, screenshot that. Let's get going. Use fire magic on the fly. I can. Oh, maybe that was a match. Who's there? Yeah, we're gonna call him Zidane. We're gonna stick to the Final Fantasy names. I could go ahead and do Sean or Tailspin or Master, but we're gonna stick to Z Zidane. Now, I wanna keep this real kosher, especially being my first playthrough. I'd rather keep it like that. Zidane. I always thought it was spelled with a Y. It's me, Zidane. Blank. His name's Blank. Wow. Hey, Zidane. You sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Ain't here yet. I'm not used to that. We initial commands for each character when the ATB launch is full. By selecting a command from the list, press X and you can cycle new characters with full ATB This is gonna take a while to get the hang of, guys. Wow. Uh, Cena, Marcus, Blank. Isn't he a chef? He looks like a chef, but apparently he's... I guess he's just a man. Wow! Oh my head. Go easy, you guys. I, I have questions, but... <laughs> hey, get fools. You're looking a lot better. <laughs> Alright, let's start this meeting already. I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah, that took, that's some nice um, animations they got going on. Here's the plan. Uh, his name's Baku. Idiot. Talus, the infamous band of daring thieves. That's us. Is heading in the kingdom of Alexandria. Virginia. We're heading to Virginia, people. Baku, our mission to kidnap their heir to the throne, Prince, Prince, Princess Garnet. That's her name, Princess Garnet. Okay. Let's see that. I'll take it from here. So listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're gonna put our costumes on and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, cause you're playing the lead. Lead the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers will be Blank and Zidane. I'll distract the audience from the backstage with these little numbers. I can't stand Oglips. What the hell is a Oglip? I'll manage, so I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cues, then. That's when I kidnap 
Queen of Brandon. Right. No, that's when I kidnapped Princess Diana. Right. You bet. You're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Did they always have like a thing where you could like choose what you was gonna say to somebody in those type of sequences? I gotta say right now, guys, it, this game seems very quiet than I remember it. Of course, that isn't going to strain me away from playing this. I feel like there was a Final Fantasy on the GameCube also that, um, had, um, the Black Mage of VV in it. I, I could be wrong. Fancy well, that's one way to kick things off. See, how long am I going to record? I think I'll aim to make it... Uh, I'll probably record until... I'm gonna try and hit like 20 minutes and then stop there. But who knows what might happen. I might have to record longer. This is Alexander. Are you all right? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye. Well, how nice of you. All right, we're playing as Vivi. At least I'm pretty sure this is Vivi. I just went back and back. I don't even know if I was supposed to go this way. Uh, let's probably should explore. With these types of RPGs, like the old, especially the older ones, you kind of need to explore if you want to gain stuff. I saw nobles first. This nobles first. All right. Okay. I saw the nobles first. Okay. Nobles always come to Alexandria to see the annual performance. What is this? Move a card. You gotta have at least five cards to play. What? Hey. So are Moogle cards just gambling? Okay. Why? You're no city child. And you're not a noble child either. All these street urchins are simply dreadful. Well, screw you too. Alexandria soldier kids shouldn't leave the city by themselves, you know. This gate leads outside. So I just realized. to dash I forgot about that. so I guess I can't leave and I just noticed that the guards are female like they're, they're like literal female guards what the heck what rat kid why you get out of my way well that's it for today I get time to get ready to see the play Theodore, away from me. Wow, nobles. Weren't you? Yay. Okay. Honorable nobles of Treno. Castle of Alexandria is this way. I'm so confused with what's going on. Is that a hippo kid? Sure be busy tonight, but it'll also be the last time we're so busy. 
Why is your name Ashley again? Okay. Male red mage. I don't know why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. Got a potion. Good thing I explored. I gotta get back to work. Got a flying card. Interesting. Twenty-seven gill on the floor. See, this is why it's. This is what I'm talking about. Like you can be playing this game and easily miss out on things, especially with the art style. Not that, not that there's anything necessarily wrong with the art style. I I appreciate it for what it is and for its time. But um, with games like these, you really need to like make sure you explore everywhere, because you can easily miss stuff that could possibly be benefited or might even be needed. That's definitely a hippo kid. Wow, nobles are so spiffy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamped there before you can enter the castle. Why do I feel like though I got pickpocketed just now when that rat kid ran into me. Doug's item shop. Potions, antidotes, phoenix downs. Doug's item shop has it all. Okay. Well, let's take a look in here real quick. Good afternoon. Yeah, phoenix downs. So, I'm wondering if I should even bother buying some of these right now. I feel like maybe I could hold off. I'm still good. Look at that. I have three in stock already. Well, we might as well just buy a potion and then keep it moving. Oh, wait, and a dude. Buy one of those or buy an eye drop too. All right, now we're done. All right, I'm, I'm serious. So. Found money. In the shop, item shop owner's shop. He didn't notice he had $38 on the floor. Peek into the ticket booth. Can I help you, son? What's showing today? This year's performance is the masterpiece. I wanna be a canary. The Tantalus Company is performing. Pony hat boy. Um, um. <laughs> I can appreciate imagining how his voice may sound like right there. Uh, tell me about Alexandria. The Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Brea. Okay. What kind of troop is Tantalus? A star performance from Lindblom, Lind Lind the re regency to the west of the uh, company of... Uh, wow, what words? <laughs> Alright, let's just show our ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know you must, uh, you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer them out. Goblin card. A flame card. A skeleton card. Talk to the alleyway jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, man. So does Vivi have, like, bad luck? Is that what they're trying to portray here? How do I... I, I, I wasn't ready. 
Wait, what button is it? Look, I'm already forgetting some shit. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's A, alright? Yeah. How do I jump the first time? Do I automatically jump the first time? Let's see. It kind of looks like I pushed the button. No, y'all ain't trying to watch me do this. I, I, I wanna, I wanna try it. All right, one more time, one more time. Then I'll stop. Okay, I'm stopping. Talk beast to dash. They they don't they aren't telling me how to actually do some shit though. It's just the alleyway. Uh well this is the alleyway. I think we're gonna stop right here. Uh so far I'm kind of getting into it. I think it's gonna take a little bit for me to really dive deeper into this, but um, I'm into this. I'm I'm up for this, and I'm hoping that you guys are up for the ride. Cause I plan on finishing this. I don't plan on making this be like a one-off. So stay tuned for more episodes from the Lunchbox on Final Fantasy IX. Catch y'all later. <laughs>